Today we're talking about UTXOs. Welcome back to Nerd Out, the show where we take a look at Cardano and we break it down, but we don't dumb it down. Uh, today we're talking about the UTXO model. Now Cardano uses an extended UTXO model, but today we're just going to talk about the basics, which is very similar to Bitcoin. But um, yeah, today, so we're talking about UTXOs this week, not extended UTXO, which brings in smart contracts and all kinds of other fun stuff. But for Today, we're just going to do the basics, so let's get into it. So the first thing you need to know about UTXOs is that it stands for Unspent Transaction Outputs. So everything in Cardano is a, is a transaction, anything that modifies the, the ledger that everybody in Cardano has agreed to. And so the Unspent Transaction Outputs is kind of like the tip of what the ledger says is the truth. And so where do UTXOs live on, on the hierarchy chain? They live at the very bottom. So you have a wallet, which is dataless, that has kind of your, your root keys. And then we talked about this in a previous video where all of your other public-private keys are derived from this root key. And then the public keys, we derive receiving addresses from those. So those look like the ADDR1, etc. And then underneath those addresses, are UTXOs. So the UTXOs are assigned to given addresses. And this command down here you can see we're looking at, we're querying the UTXOs on a given address on the testnet. And so the uh, you can see it's made up of a transaction hash. So that's the, the transaction ID, you may have heard it called that in the explorers. And it also contains a transaction index. So the combination of those two uh, there should be an amount of Lovelace on that on that uh, UTXO. So that's what that looks like. So what if we sent an additional amount of ADA to the same address? Well, then you get an additional UTXO on the address. So an address can hold many, many UTXOs, or it can hold one, or it can hold none. And so here we've sent um, additional ADA, some some more Lovelace to this particular testnet address. And you see we get a new transaction hash, and we also get a new transaction index, which in this case is zero. So let's break it down a little bit further. Um, when you're sending a transaction, a transaction in, in most wallets, it has a single input and usually more than one output could be just a single output, but the reality is you can have any number of UTXOs in and any number of UTXOs out. The thing is that all of those inputs must be fully spent. So once you use a UTXO, it's gone. It doesn't exist anymore at the, at the tip of the, the ledger chain. So for example, if I'm going to send, let's say my wallet holds 100 ADA and I'm going to send 10 of it to my friend, I send uh, 100 ADA in the UTXO in, then my friend has a UTXO out that has 10 ADA, and then I have 90 in the second UTXO that goes back to me. So it's kind of like you're always at the convenience store, you're always overpaying, and then the change always comes back to you. That's how you end up spending everything that was input. And then of course, out of that, uh, what comes back to you is minus the fee, of course. So your friend gets the 10 and you get 89.8 whatever it would be uh, what comes back to you. So let's take a look at this um, in more of a concrete example. So let's say that I have some funds here and on this funds there is a single UTXO. It's in this A88D26 transaction uh, index of zero and then there's my amount of Lovelace there. Lovelace is um, the smallest amount of ADA, it's equivalent to like a Satoshi in the Bitcoin world. Basically, you convert from Lovelace to ADA by uh, moving the decimal six places or dividing by a million. So a million Lovelace is one ADA. And then you see we have no, uh, no UTXOs on either of these other two test addresses currently. 
So what happens if we do a transaction? So the transaction I'm going to do is I'm going to send 10 ADA or 10 million Lovelace to this first test address and I'm going to send 20 to the second one. And you'll notice that I get a transaction succeeded. Here's the transaction ID. Keep this 6 CEB um, in mind for the next slide. And so now let's look at what's on each of those addresses. So we now have on test one, we have that 6 CEB transaction. The index is zero because that was our first UTXO out. So that gets the index of zero. The second one gets the index of one. Again, same transaction hash. And then our change, whatever was remaining minus the fee, comes back to us in that final transaction index. And you see in the wallet balances, everything looks correct here. And that is an overview of how UTXOs work on Cardano. And with that, nerd out.